All right, we're going to try to solve some systems of equations using multiplication. Now, uh, for those of you that have seen solving systems using addition and subtraction, we're still going to use addition and subtraction, but we're also going to have to do multiplication. See, the problem is, is I'd like to, uh, uh, we're going to use elimination to solve, and I'd like to either eliminate the x's or the y's. The problem is, is that when I'm looking at this problem, um, it's 2x and 3 x. If I add those together, I get 5x. If I subtract, I get x. Um, it, here's y and 2y. Uh, if I add those together, I get 3y. If I subtract, I, I don't get rid of the variables whether I add or subtract. So we're going to do a little something extra. It turns out it's perfectly legal to do something to either of these equations as long as I do the same thing to both sides. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to make it so that I can get rid of the y's. Um, and uh, uh, what I think would be nice is if I had a negative 2 in front of this y, then I could have negative 2y plus 2y, and that gets rid of the y's. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the entire top equation by negative 2. In other words, I'm going to distribute this negative 2 to the 2x and to the y, and also way over here to the 23. I'm just taking a shortcut. Normally I would write that I'd do negative 2 times the left side and negative 2 times the right, um, but we're getting into some fa fancy stuff here, so I want to move more quickly. Oh, the other thing I've been telling you folks is make sure you label your equations. This is equation one and this is equation two. We're going to start working back and forth with these guys and it's important to keep track of which one we're working at. I'm going to rewrite equation one with the negative two multiplied all throughout. So here we go, let's try it. Um, we're going to go negative two times two x, that's negative four x. And then negative 2 times y, that's negative 2y. That's what I was hoping to get. And then negative 2 times 23. Uh, oh, don't forget, we just copy the equal sign down. Negative 2 times 23 is negative 46. And, uh, and then we can go ahead and get rid of these variables by either adding or subtracting. Um, do you know which one we're going to do in this case? Hopefully, you have guessed that we are going to add. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a plus sign down here, and I'm going to add the 3x and the negative 4x. I'll add the 2y and the negative 2y, and I'll add the 37 and the negative 46. So when I do, I get some result, and let's see what it looks like here. Um, we're going to get uh, ne negative x, 3x plus negative 4x. We'll get 0. We get equals. And then we get 37 and negative 46, and oh lord, a uh, calculator would be helpful right here. Um, uh, so this should be negative 9. Okay, and, uh, and then uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of these negative signs by multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 1. And when I do, I end up with uh, just x equals 9. Now, if you recall the drill with... Uh, with these uh, systems of equations, I'm only part way done, so I circle that result. Then I take that x equals 9 and plug it back either into equation 1 or equation 2, and then find y. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy, uh, I'll go back into equation 1. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take uh, 2x, uh, oh, 2 parentheses uh, plus y. Uh, equals 23 and for you folks that are having a hard time following I'm gonna label this equation 1 and you should also to remind me yeah that's where it came from 2x plus y equals 23 2 parentheses plus y equals 23 then I take this x equals 9 and plunk the 9 right in there in place of x so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that we'll put the 9 in there and then let's go ahead and then write this out. So this is still equation 1. And then 2 times 9 is 18. And then plus y equals 23. And, oh, by the way, shout out to Sammy G and the rest of you folks in Algebra 1A class. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get y all by itself. We'll subtract 18 from both sides. And when we do, we get y equals 5, I believe. And we'll circle that because it's still not the final result. And then we take all of that and we write the final result, which is going to be 9 
comma 5 in other words x comma y and we box it and this is our solution to our system of equations and we found it by using elimination and multiplication and addition in this case voila